Welcome to a tale where dolphins hold the key to an intricate world of espionage and intrigue. The 1973 movie, The Day of the Dolphin, navigates a thrilling narrative that delves into the unexpected depths of interspecies communication. Amidst this riveting storyline, one might ponder over the standout roles that captivated the audience, or uncover lesser-known anecdotes that add layers to this cinematic gem. Did a particular character steal the spotlight for you, or are there fascinating behind-the-scenes tidbits that intrigue your curiosity? A movie's canvas unfolds against a backdrop where scientific advancement collides with the intricacies of nature, all centering around the remarkable intelligence of dolphins. As the story unfolds, it offers a glimpse into the unexplored territories of communication, trust, and the ethical dilemmas entangled within. As you ponder the intricacies of this cinematic piece, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience connected with this movie. Your stories and memories are treasures that enrich the collective tapestry of our appreciation for this film. Share with us in the comments below. We would love to hear your anecdotes and insights. What role stood out to you the most? Or perhaps there's a fascinating fact that slipped under the radar. Your engagement adds a vibrant hue to this cinematic conversation. Share your thoughts, and let's unravel the layers of the Day of the Dolphin together. The last of three films made by director Mike Nichols and screenwriter Buck Henry before splitting due to poor reviews and bad box office returns. The disappointment led to the abandonment of a screen adaptation of Fitzgerald's novel The Last Tycoon. Producer Sam Spiegel took it up later, hiring Harold Pinter to script and Aaliyah Kazan to direct, after disagreements with Nichols. Jason Robard's near-fatal car crash replaced him with Paul Sorvino in a leading role. Initially announced as a Franklin J. Schaffner movie by the Mirish Company in May 1970, all this turmoil overshadowed the 1973 movie The Day of the Dolphin, affecting the careers and collaborations of those involved. Screenwriter Buck Henry provided the voices of the dolphins when they spoke human words in the 1973 movie The Day of the Dolphin. This unique aspect added depth to the film's portrayal of the dolphins' intelligence and communication. Henry's involvement in lending his voice talents to the dolphins offered a distinctive layer to the storytelling enhancing the audience's connection to these characters. The movie also features Harold's arrival at a lecture in a 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood 75. This specific car, valued at around $12,000 in 1973, remains a notable detail in the film. Its appearance serves as an interesting marker of luxury and status, contributing to the setting and character portrayal. Interestingly, Roman Polanski was initially set to direct the film. However, due to tragic circumstances, he was in England scouting locations when his wife Sharon Tate was tragically killed by the Manson family. This unforeseen event altered the course of the movie, leading to different directorial choices and ultimately impacting the final product. These distinct elements, Buck Henry's involvement in voicing the Dolphins, the notable appearance of the 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood 75, and the change in directorial plans due to Roman Polanski's personal tragedy collectively contribute to the unique backstory and intricacies behind the creation of The Day of the Dolphin. When Roman Polanski was set to direct The Day of the Dolphin, Jack Nicholson was slated to star in the film. Polanski's involvement, however, shifted due to tragic circumstances, altering the directorial course. This change also impacted the casting choices, leading to different roles than initially planned. The ripple effect of these alterations influenced the final outcome of the movie, showcasing a unique blend of circumstances shaping its production. The dynamic between director and cast often shapes a film's essence, and this situation was no exception. Despite initial intentions, the film took a different path, ultimately reflecting the collaboration and adjustments made along the way. The Day of the Dolphin stands as a testament to the fluidity of film production and the unforeseen factors that shape cinematic creations. Tracy Morgan, on a 2019 episode of Conan, expressed his fondness for this film, illustrating its lasting impact on audiences and individuals within the entertainment industry. The film cost $8,500,000, making it one of the most expensive films of 1973. It proved a major money loser, 
The Day of the Dolphin, released in 1973, stands out as one of the costliest productions of its time, yet it suffered significant financial losses. Despite its substantial budget, the movie struggled to draw audiences and failed to recoup its expenses. This financial setback overshadowed its potential impact and cinematic elements, marking it as a notable underperformer amidst the year's film releases. Starring George C. Scott and featuring John David Carson in a smaller role, the film navigates a narrative that touches upon unique themes, including the interaction between humans and dolphins. However, the financial burden and subsequent poor returns eclipsed its narrative strengths, rendering it a cautionary tale in the realm of movie economics. The movie's financial failure, despite its intriguing premise and notable cast, serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictability of the film industry. The Day of the Dolphin, though possessing potential, found itself among the casualties of high production costs and inadequate box office performance. The 1973 movie The Day of the Dolphin showcases intriguing connections beyond its storyline. Among these, the small boat transporting George C. Scott bears a meaningful name, Eruhintu. This reference ties into Samuel Butler's satirical novel, Eruhin, depicting a seemingly ideal society that reveals flaws upon closer inspection. The boat's name, an anagram of nowhere, subtly hints at hidden complexities within the film's isolated setting. Moreover, notable actors Paul Sorvino and Edward Herrmann, both featured in The Day of the Dolphin, reunited in later movies like Reds and Nixon, highlighting the collaborative relationships formed during this earlier project. Additionally, the film includes a 1973 Cessna U-206E float plane, adding authenticity to the setting. However, its fate after exportation to Canada in 1976 remains unknown, leaving a trace of mystery behind this piece of cinematic history. These connections, whether in references, actor collaborations, or details like the plane's uncertain fate, add depth to the movie's legacy, revealing layers beyond the narrative itself. George C. Scott was paid a whopping $750,000 for his role in The Day of the Dolphin. This generous paycheck made him one of the highest paid actors of that time, showcasing the significance of his involvement in the film. His portrayal of the key character added weight to the production and highlighted the importance of his role. The hefty sum also reflected the film's budget and the investment made in securing top talent. Scott's substantial payment stands as a testament to the value placed on actors and their contributions to cinematic works during that era. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I encourage you to let the echoes of the Day of the Dolphin resonate within your thoughts. Allow its narrative to ripple through the corridors of your mind, inviting introspection into the delicate balance between human intentions and the intricate world of these remarkable creatures. Whether it's the enigmatic performances, the thought-provoking storyline, or the ethereal underwater landscapes that linger in your memory, this film often sparks a unique connection for each viewer. Take a moment to delve into your personal trove of reflections on this 1973 gem. Perhaps you found solace in its poignant storytelling, marveled at the depth of its themes, or discovered an unexpected kinship with its characters. Share those cherished moments, those thoughts that still dance vividly in your mind, and join the symphony of voices celebrating this cinematic masterpiece. Your perspective adds another brushstroke to the canvas of shared experiences, enriching the tapestry of admiration for this timeless creation. Thank you for allowing the Day of the Dolphin to become a part of your cinematic odyssey. Your insights and memories are a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the magic it weaves within us. Thank you for your time, your consideration, and for sharing your thoughts. Let's keep these waves of connection flowing. Until we cross paths again in the sea of shared stories, keep reflecting, keep exploring, and keep the magic of cinema alive.